Some Arkansas health providers are forced to close after they're not reimbursed for their services. Fox 24's Corsa Bustamante is live in studio with us with how our local legislators are getting involved in what some are calling a broken health care system. Clarissa? Chelsea, the provider-led Arkansas Shared Savings Entity, or PASS, program aims to help Arkansans with disabilities connect with providers that will best match their needs. But both health care providers and patients in the program say it's hurting more than helping, sparking local representative Nicole Clowney to go to our capital to call for change. It's hard enough on us having a, you know, a special needs child and having to um, care for his needs, and it's not easy. And so they sit there and say that they're trying to help us, but they're not. Local families have shared with us how the provider-led Arkansas Shared Savings Entity Program has impacted their lives since it rolled out on March 1st. We've spent every last nickel and dime that we possibly could to provide her formula, and that you know, 400 plus dollars a month, that's just not feasible with seven kids. Now House and Senate state agencies are coming together to take issues with the PASS program and address them with the Department of Health and Human Services and PASS representatives. So many Arkansans depend on these services. In many cases, they are, they are matters of life and death. Representative Nicole Clowney was at this meeting. She said some providers have been forced to close because PASS has not reimbursed them for their services. In a previous meeting with PASS, the program said it would have all the unpaid claims paid within seven days. But the nonprofit lifestyle says that's just not the case. Hopefully it doesn't affect our ability to pay our staff, um, but you know it just puts unnecessary financial strain on the organization. And in some cases, we've had to do things like go to our line of credit to meet basic everyday expenses. Executive Director John Newman says because of this, Lifestyles cannot bring in new clients right now. I'm concerned about Lifestyles first and foremost, but I'm also concerned about all agencies that provide services for individuals with disabilities, as we should all be, uh, because, you know, this is our community. These are citizens of Arkansas, and I hope that they get these situations figured out so that, you know, we're able to, to provide the care and support that these individuals expect us to. It's a really scary time for a lot of Arkansans, and so we're just trying to, um, to figure out what the problems are and how we can fix them as quickly as possible. The Arkansas Department of Human Services changed the open enrollment period for the PASS program to October 1st through the 31st. The department says this decision is meant to give the PASS networks time to grow so members know which passes have signed with their providers. DHS says it's also meant to give you more time to decide which extension of the program is best for your medical needs. Live in studio, Clarice Bustamante, Fox 24 News.